In this series, I'll walk you through how to use Cogito to make your game. If you haven't heard of Cogito, it is a free Godot engine project template that enables you to make first person adventures, shooters, and immersive sim type games. Each video that I make will cover one topic, so you can watch them in any order. Though if you're new to Cogito, I recommend you start at the first one. In this video, I'm using some assets made by Loaf BRR, or as I'd like to pronounce it, Loaf Brr. They make great assets for Godot, and a lot of them are free, so check them out via the link in the description. They didn't pay me to say this, but I just like their assets, and I wanted to give them a shout out. Alright, so let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to the next tutorial in this series. Uh, today I'm gonna continue work on this pipe room, as I like to call it. In order for us to playtest faster, I've also moved the player bean into this room so we can always just start in here and don't have to crawl through our tiny door. I've also copied this door over to be the same here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So in this video, what I'll try to do is I have this little corridor and I want this corridor to be filled with steam that hurts the player. I already have my smoke particles in place and they also have an audio stream that plays that is like a steam hissing sound. And now all that's missing is the actual functionality of like the player getting hurt once they're in this area. So Kogito comes with the perfect, uh, the perfect object for this and it's called a hazard zone. And I'm just gonna, gonna show you how to use that. Um, in my scene tree, I'm going to instantiate a new child scene. I'm going to look for hazard zone. Just going to select that. And it spawns over there, so I'm just going to move it here so I can see it better. And I'll get rid of the label. I get rid of the transparent box because this is just a visual cue that I don't need. And now all that's left is the collision shape. And the collision shape is actually the area that will hurt the player. So I'm going to um, edit this to match my corridor. Um, okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to click on my hazard zone. I'm going to double check that the play attribute is set to health because that's the attribute that I want to influence. Um, and then the drain amount, I want to set that higher because I want to make sure that the player, even if they're full health, um, that they basically can't make it through the whole corridor, that they will die if they just try to run through here. Um, and this should actually be all I need to do. I'm gonna save and give this a quick try. All right, so I walk in there. I'll try to get to the other side. Oh, and I can actually make it out. So I need to increase my drain rate a bit more. Let's set it to 30. Save that and try again. Okay, yeah, that should do just fine. 